Hey all, Will Healy here, and I've got another sensor basics for you. And we're gonna keep in this photoelectric theme till I've beat it to death. So uh, the next photoelectric sensor technology I wanna talk about is what's called retro reflective. And uh, I've got a little prop here, but it's an important piece of the, the automation and it's a reflector. And uh, maybe you've seen these before. Sometimes you see them inside of a store where uh, when you walk in, it makes a little chiming sound for the, for the the worker and uh, a lot of those have a reflector like this on one side and then a sensor on the other side and the sensor looks very similar to what we've talked about in previous videos a diffuse sensor it has the emitter that's emitting the light source so you can see the light source emitters on the bottom and then the receivers on the top okay and so this sensor you could see is is turned on right now and that's because it operates in dark on mode and so right now it's not seeing any light so it's sending the output of the sensor and we've talked about dark on in previous videos so what we need to do is we need to be able to line this up uh, with our with our reflector and let's see if I can get that done I'm not good with hand-eye coordination here so let's get it close there we go okay now we're on the reflector perfect okay so you can see when I'm on the reflector the sensor is turned off right there you see that and then when an object blocks the light it turns uh, it turns on, the output of the sensor turns on. So why this is important is, uh, you know, we talked about in through beams that you have to have electricity on both sides of the application and that doesn't always work. And so sometimes you need to be able to put a reflector on one side and then have the emitter and receiver on the other side. And then when the, the object blocks the light, that's when the sensor turns on. You can see it there. When I block the light, the sensor turns on. And when I remove my hand, the sensor turns off. And so retroreflective is really great because you get the reliability of through beam but without having to have electricity on both sides of, of the application. Um, the trick can be, you know, these are really long range. So you saw I was having some trouble trying to line this thing up. So that can be a little bit of the, the trouble is making sure it's lined up. But of course, once you have it in a mounting bracket and you secure everything, it's a very reliable sensing mode for, for photoelectric sensors. So uh, you're looking for beam break, it's dark on, and it's a really good uh, sensor application. And you see a lot of people use this in uh, like logistics, they use retroreflective sensors like this. So uh, if you want to learn more about photoelectric sensors or some of the things that I mentioned in this video, like dark on and light on and, and diffuse and through beam, uh, check out the other videos in the YouTube playlist. I'll put it in the comments.